In this video, we are going to see an example. Let's look at the example first, which is PLC example 15. Let's suppose that we want to measure the number of total boxes by a proximity sensor on a conveyor belt which is running by motor when we switch on a normally open button. Then after the number of boxes is 30, the buzzer will be on and motor will be off. Let's head over to the open PLC editor and create an array diagram for this example. So we will create a new project and then we will add a new folder and we will name the folder as example 15 and then we will select the folder. As for the lock page, we will change it to the letter diagram and press OK. I would like to add some variables here. This would be our normally open button, which is a boolean. Then I will use proximity, which is a boolean. Then I will use integer first, which is an integer. I will use count value which is an integer also and I will use preset value which is also an integer. The initial value of the preset value will be 40 and for the iron first, it is going to be 30. Let's add first of all two power rails, one on the left side and one on the right side. Then I would add the contact here, which is normally open button. I'll join the pin here. Then I would add the block pulse timer. And in series, I will use memory bit zero. I will keep it as negated. And for the coil, I will use proximity.
10 for preset value I will use 50 milliseconds I will join the pins here Then I will copy and paste the normally open contact and in series I will use the output which is proximity then I will copy and paste the pulse timer join these pins and for the coil I will use the memory bit 0 Then I will join these pins here. And the preset time will be same as the first one. I will join these pins here. Then after this, I will paste. the contact or I could just add the contact here which is the proximity and I would add another block from the standard function block the count up Then I'm going to join these pins for the coil. The coil could be buzzer. Then I will use the variable preset value. I'll join these pins here. I will keep the preset value as 30. Let's keep the reset as it is and CV as it is. Now I will start this simulation here. We also need to create the motor with the buzzer. As the buzzer will go through, the motor should stop and when the normally open contact will go through, the motor should start.
okay now I will start the simulation the simulation is complete I will click on the glasses here as you can see the count value is counting and the motor is true the motor is true and the buzzer is false when the count value is same as the preset value which is 30 the buzzer will go on and the motor will go false Let's do it from the start. I'll start the simulation again. Let me drag this up. Then I'll force true to the normally open contact, and you will see that the motor is true and the buzzer is false. As the proximity sensor is sensing the boxes. And when the preset value will be same as the count value which is 30, the buzzer will go on and the motor will go off. I will stop the simulation and with this our video ends here. Thank you for watching.